Want to spar? No, no. Come on, Dad. Caitlin is just a powerhouse. That's all I can really say. She knows what she wants, and she she doesn't stop until she gets it. Just a couple of punches. Light punches. OK. Light. OK. Caitlin and Frazier are two people from totally different worlds, and they become friends. This is not what I had in mind for you. Surprise, I exist outside of your mind. Caitlin struggles definitely with identity, knowing where she belongs. You're never around anymore. Frazier helps her evolve, and he teaches her about the world outside of that military base and what stuff is actually like. And eventually, she starts to add a little bit more color into how she looks at things. It's such a beautiful journey to see her go from this young girl to this mature human being. Sarah is a careerist. She grew up in a very strong patriarchal environment. I think that she's really been driven her whole life to prove herself. I don't know how things were under the previous commander, but now we're gonna uphold a higher standard. Coming to Italy is her first assignment as a colonel, and she's really terrified. There are only a few moments where you can see her kind of cracking and you see her vulnerability. Sarah fell in love with Maggie, and it might have been her first relationship with a woman. They've been navigating their lives in the military together, and all the difficulties that that posed, being out in the Army. I miss having you all for myself. Sarah raised Fraser with Maggie, but she has dragged the poor child all over the world. I feel like every moment I'm in this place, a little piece of me is dying. She understands that he is stifled by this environment. At the same time, she's a little selfish in that way and thinks that he's just gonna have to roll with it. The show is about people discovering themselves, who they are and who they wanna be. It's also about family and, and friendship and finding your people. Who is going to encourage you to be who you wanna be? Richard is a devoted soldier. He's been doing it for some years now, and that's his life. He fits in as this kind of fatherly figure to the soldiers. OK, OK, quiet down now. Look at me. I'm the cowboy that's going to ride this beautiful horse. <laughs> yeah. Richard and his daughter, Caitlin, are very close. He kind of treats her like the son he never had. They hit certain moments of turmoil, and there's a lot of ups and downs with the relationship throughout the series. You don't even smile at me anymore. You treat me like I'm an idiot who knows nothing. Well, I'm not stupid. I'm still me, Dad. It's a beautiful thing to have a story about a black family. That is one of the special things about this show. It's all real life. I think we are who we are mostly is a very immersive experience into the, into the identity of people that I love to, to describe. This is going to be almost a trip for audiences. When I first met Luca, I was so in awe of his way to exemplify an emotion or, or a feeling. And she's puzzled, curious, dizzy, frightened. You need to be calm and get me all these feelings, OK? Ready. I think that more than the style, what makes Luca Guadagnino special and unique as a director is the fact that he is an architect and, or a great designer of worlds. Action. Yeah. Come on. 
Get your bed. Oh, there's too many fish. <laughs> Beautiful, that's great. He tried to create a world that should and actually feels like real, so loose with no structure, but that actually contains and is built under a very, very strong structure. So for me, it's really a let the camera be with these people and let these people lead the camera and the film, the, the series. Cut, cut, Let's do it again. cut, one more time. I don't cut. direct you cut. now, you do it Sorry. by yourself. Cut, cut, Great. cut. And then collaborating with him, something so surreal because we're both kind of on the same level. All the interactions that we have are really, we really relate and resonate with each other. And I couldn't ask for a better director and actor experience. He explained to me the idea of Caitlin and what type of person she is, and he wanted me to also bring stuff to Caitlin. He always asks my opinion, which I love about him, just asking, what do I think about some stuff, or how do you think she might portray this, or taking consideration, like other things that I've thought of. Everything is real, everything is real, everything is real. It's all about like the discovery through, through that, and he wants to feel that, that it's really genuine. You immerse yourself into this kind of fractured, real landscape of identities in a way that cannot let you get off of these identities. In the body where everything has a price, I was a beggar. Why do you read poetry? Every word means something. Never kissed anyone before. I met the new commander and her wife. I'll stand by our nation's greatest treasure, freedom and the will to defend it. Your mother is a legend. My mom has nothing to do with us. It's exhausting trying to be his mother and his father all at the same time. How long have you and her been friends? They are neighbors. I tried to be polite. I think they think we're weird. Does that bother you? You treat me like I'm an idiot who knows nothing. But you're just a little girl. You still want to be a soldier? Maybe. Does your father know when you say soldier? You mean male soldier? They're both looking down on us. I'm not gonna let anyone disrespect me. This is not what I had in mind for. Surprise, I exist outside of your mind. My father was a Muslim, wasn't he? How many things are you gonna turn your back on in a single lifetime, Mom? We dream of peace. We all do. After all these years, I still don't know if I hate you or not. What's happening to us? You're never around anymore. Maybe you're right. It's not the way it used to be. It's time we change this world. You and me. You're right now. And ourselves. You like me like this? Like a guy. I don't know, I mean... Are you still you?